Ashiru Dara, you are welcome to the program AIT Infotech Network. What are your plans or roadmap for 2014? It's the workforce, those who execute, those who implement. So the first thing we want to do is to have a world-class agency as well, world-class workforce. And that's one of the characteristics of, of high-performance organizations. So we have been working, we started been working into realigning, into reinvigorating our workforce. I mean, planning for better training and uh, creating, I mean, proper attitudes and so on and so forth. It will take some time to do that and put, I mean, round pegs and round holes. And those that need to be trained will be trained properly to get the com competences, the skills and other things. So that we will have a world-class workforce that can produce a world-class agency. What new plans are you injecting into the system? Or are you adopting the old system? There will be offices in uh, the job. That's one of the, mo one of the common themes during the discussion of the retreat. Uh, there will be need for, I mean, geopolitical, I mean, offices in the zones. Currently we have one, and uh, in the next few weeks or months we have another one. And then within the year, or the next place, we may have in all the zones we have offices. In what ways do you intend to model NIDA after other world-class IT regulatory agencies? Yes, you see, this one, like what, the thing I just mentioned earlier, you see, in e-government, you can develop portals, you can do so many things, you can develop applications for people to implement. But this one, we're taking another approach, which we feel will have a lot of impact. This e-governance award. We want to institute e-governance award so that we'll say MDAs, states, states, or even local governments, which is the best in e-governance. So that we can give a yearly award, a NIDA award, or whatever, to the best state in e governance. That will, I mean, uh, encourage competition between MDAs, between states, in e governance. And that will make people really embrace e governance and uh, yeah. develop it. So, this is, uh, this, you see, this is something which can create a lot of impact. <laughs> Without you in yourself actually erecting any infrastructure or anything, you encourage the people through this and they will work towards the paid uh, goal. So, this is one of the essences. And uh, this company, Nihiland, is an expert because they have expertise for many years. They have been doing it in India. We work with them to develop the criteria, the procedures, assessment, and so on and so forth. And we uh, hope to start um, the award this year. We have, uh, I mean, a number of things. Initially, you know, we have to improve in this training. We're doing a lot of uh, training to give the youth the basic uh, competencies, the basic education and knowledge to involve in this uh, uh, innovation. Now, the second thing, you know, we established uh, the two incubation centers, one in Lagos and one in Kadawa. Uh, these centers will encourage, I mean, young, will absorb young communities into developing their own applications and uh, later they will develop their own entrepreneurships and this will uh, enhance innovation. And other things we are doing, uh, participation, in regional and international forum, we'll carry our young ones to these activities so that they can showcase their own talents. Can you tell Nigeria some of these kind of international programs or regional programs that are used can benefit? No, we have some working, 
some activities would be, I mean, there was some working visits to Silicon Valley. And we're working with some people there who come and train our youth in that in issues of um, uh, entrepreneurship and uh, development of uh, the skills, innovation, and so on and so forth. Lastly, what exactly is your message to Nigerians? My message is Nigerians should, I mean, embrace IT. No country can progress at this present time without embracing IT. Whether it's China, Singapore, all these countries that have made something, they have to embrace IT. So we need to embrace IT in all spheres of our life, in education, in health, economy, in all these areas. And uh, we need to really be sincere and patriotic. Let us make our country great. Uh, we have a lot of potentials. We can really move forward and achieve what others have done, and we can even, I mean, pass them. So let us do that. Let us, I mean, collaborate and do that. Dr. Ashi Rodara, thank you so much for having you on this edition of the program. Thank you.